All right. So for those of you joining, welcome. So from fad diets to calorie counting to quick fix programs, 30 day challenges, my client Jen has tried it all. So welcome, Jen. She's going to share with you guys a little bit about where she was before she joined Fit for Life and how she's feeling now. So Jen, why don't you just tell people like where you're from, what you do and where you were before, like how you look, looked and felt before you joined the Fit for Life program. Sure. So I'm from Baldwin, Long Island, New York. Um, I'm a physician assistant <laughs> at a hospital. Um, and yeah, before I joined the program, I was overweight, not very comfortable um, in my clothes. Nothing really felt right. Um, tried a bunch of different programs, um, different like fad diets, just trying to, you know, get the results that I wanted and just never getting there basically. Right. And then you said, I think you mentioned too, like you were doing a lot of like the calories in calories out, which I think still a lot of people to this day believe like, okay, if I, if I eat less and move more, I'm going to get great results. And that actually is the old school way of thinking, which we're coming to realize. Right. Yeah. So it's, you know, you think, okay, well, if I, um, if I'm burning more calories, if I'm eating less things, if I'm doing all these things, um, and doing an extra exercise, you know, maybe I can have an extra slice of pizza, mm -hmm. but not all. If I run 10 miles, I could drink exactly. three beers. <laughs> like, yeah. But not all calories are created equal, I have learned. So, thank yeah. you. Woo! Kind of, <laughs> yeah, kind of ineffective. So, yeah, definitely learned that along the way. Okay, yeah, so good. So, basically, and tell us how you felt in your own skin. Like, how much, um, how overweight were you? How were you feeling when you looked in the mirror? So I guess I was definitely almost 30 pounds overweight. Um, I, I don't think I really looked in the mirror all that much. And when I did, I was like, oh, that's not me. <laughs> that's not Who what I that? look like. Who is, Who is that? that girl? Or in photographs, I'm just like, oh, that was a bad day. But I guess, you know, oh. after, over 10 years, I kind of realized, all right, this is just me. I am just overweight. So um, I think I just took a long time to kind of pull the trigger and like do something for myself because I didn't feel like I should invest that time on myself. I'm too busy. I have too many other things to do, but, um, yeah. So for, you know. for those of you who are going to be watching this on the replay, drop in the comments, number one, if you can relate, because did you hear she's too busy? I have too much to do. Also, I don't feel like I deserve to invest in myself. Right. Like, cause she's a busy doctor. Like you just have so many things going on, right? I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of people can relate to that. And then like one year goes by and then two and then three. Yeah. And then like, all, like all this time goes by. So if you guys can relate to that, for those of you watching, drop the number one in the comments. Cause we hear that so often, right? Like I, you know, my kids come first, my career comes first or whatever it is. And then it's like, all of a sudden you look at yourself or maybe you don't look at yourself, <laughs> but you, you, you feel like, Oh my, just my clothes aren't fitting. Like I just, I don't feel good in my own skin. I'm tired my skin isn't, is breaking out. Like I just don't feel well. Right. I remember yeah. you say like, you just like, you didn't feel that great. Low energy all the time, you know, just kind of dragging day by day, like making things work, you know, not like not having the energy to do what I needed to do every day. Yeah. Yeah. And that's no way to live. And especially when you're, you know, you're seeing patients as a doctor, like you, you need to have energy for them. So yes. yeah, that's, that's really important. So basically you're feeling super low, super low energy, not great in your own skin. How long did you let that go on? I mean, it definitely oh, over 10 years, just about um, like 11 years. Yeah. Yeah. That's a long time. And just, I know. You know Jen and I went to high school together. We're only 21 now. And no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're in our 30s. So yeah. And as you get older, like ladies, as you know, it definitely does get a little bit harder, you know, like so hard. It's, de it's definitely harder. So if you're feeling like, wow, like it's getting out of control now, like it's time to make a change. Cause as you get older, it definitely, it definitely will get harder. It's not impossible. I mean, my oldest, our oldest client in Fit for Life is 67. She looks amazing, but like you, it does get harder. You know what I mean? Um, so tell people a little bit about like, what was your breaking point? Like, did something happen? Did something trigger you to make you, I know you followed me cause we're friends, but like, did something make you like, I got to reach out to Angelica. Like what happened? I think, you know, I'm just having like a lot of, um, big life changes, you know, got engaged, moving in with my fiance, going to get married in June. Um, uh, just thinking about like wanting to be a mom one day, wanting to have energy for my kids. I think that was like my biggest thing, you know, I just uh, kind okay. of wanted to like, finally, you know, I want to feel comfortable on my wedding day. I want to feel comfortable in life. I want to feel comfortable as a mom. I want to have energy for everyone around me. And I think, you know, I kind of 
felt like the days were kind of just, I was just kind of getting by. So I wanted to have like that energy for like myself and like, life. yeah. And my family, my friends just be, you know what I mean? Like just to be like more present, I guess. Yes. I love that. You make a really good point. Cause I think people get stuck in like, oh gosh, like I can't do this. I failed before. And they like, they, do, they put themselves in like their past. Like I've tried other diet plans. I haven't worked. I tried plans. I feel so horrible now. This isn't going to work. What you need, what people need to do is exactly what you did. What would your future self want? What would the right. future Jen in two years, three years, four years, whatever, in a year, what would future Jen want? And you guys should be saying this to yourself too. You want a future cast yourself. Like what is a, who is the person I want to become? How do I want to look? How do I want to feel? You think about like potentially having a family, like having energy for your spouse, having more energy for your career, all those things are really, really important where you're thinking of like, it's not just about losing the weight. It's like, what is the future version of yourself? Like, do you want to be overweight with high cholesterol, pre-diabetic, pre-hypertensive, or do you want to feel really good and be really yeah. healthy for yourself, your career and your family? So I think people really need to like, think of where they're going to go in the future, right? hundred percent. I mean, seeing patients with you know, weight associated um, illnesses, like hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, all that kind of stuff. You don't want to be racking up medical bills sitting in a hospital one day, you know? Yeah. So the, mo the money is better spent investing into yourself, which that return on investment is endless. Um, how, so since you are a doctor and I'm sure there's other doctors watching, what percentage of people would you say, I don't know if you come with the percentage that actually come in that have like all these diseases that could have been prevented through exercise and nutrition and gut health? I mean, I, most of my population is very elderly. Um, so I would, there's a large majority. I mean, like saying that you have high blood, blood pressure and high cholesterol is kind of like just Enorm. part of your medical history. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, hi, yeah. I'm yeah. X, Y, and Z, and I have high blood pressure, high cholesterol. So I think that's a very common um, diagnosis. Yeah. yeah. And it's sad because that stuff is like really preventable, honestly. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. A lot yeah. Of it. So what was your biggest, when you first started Fit for Life, so Jen's been in the program how long? Seven, six months? I lost track. Seven months? Like five. Oh, maybe five? Five? Maybe five months. Yeah. Five months. Um, after three months, it all gets, it all gets lost. Or um, six, maybe six months, actually. Maybe six. Yeah. So <laughs> um, what was, when you first started the program, what was your biggest struggle? I know you really like cheese, right? Yes. Describe to people like some of your vices. She loves cheese. She loves cheese. I love people cheese. People are like, I, I love really dairy. Like and I'm not saying don't ever eat dairy again, but I really do like when anyone comes into my program, I put them on a gut healing protocol. And in order to do that, you need to eliminate some things, one of them being dairy. Um, but also tell people like your schedule, because I feel that a lot of busy professional women, which we work with, it's very easy for them to say like, oh, I'm so busy, I can't find time to meal prep or work out. So ladies, if you're watching, drop a number two if that's been you, because I'm sure you've said, I can't find time to do my workout, I can't find time to meal prep, when in reality, it doesn't take that much time. No, it really doesn't. I mean, so to touch upon the first one, definitely loved cheese. Um, ate all of the bread. Um, yeah, all you know, typical New Yorker. I had, um, you know, bagels, yogurt for breakfast, that kind of stuff. And I'm not saying that the, I never eat that stuff now, but I realized, I mean, me it, it, specifically, I definitely have, um, like a dairy issue. Um, so now I really don't think twice about touching the dairy. I just know that it makes me feel terrible. And I don't know how that switch happened, but I just was okay with feeling terrible and eating cheese. So me, specifically me, like I just feel so much better not eating cheese that I don't me even too. want to go near it anymore. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, so, that's okay. So some people don't understand they're so like emotionally attached to certain things, right? Yes. But it's like, once you, once you eliminate it, even for like a week and you're like, wow, my stomach looks flat. My yep, skin one looks week. better. My brain, one, one week. Yeah. Literally I have women mm -hmm. text me after two, one to two weeks of the program. Like, wow, I feel better already. Is this for real? I'm like, yes, for yeah. real. Your, your yeah. gut was clouded with the shit basically. Yeah. So like that brain fog, that energy, everything starts like flushing out of your system. It, it takes longer than a week, obviously, but you can notice changes in a week with doing certain eliminations. Yep. And then as far as meal prepping, I definitely overcomplicated things at first. Um, I really like to cook. I really like to make interesting food that's delicious. Um, and I will still do that from time to time, but I definitely, you know, especially in the winter, just like throwing stuff in the oven, sheet pans, it takes me, you know, maybe hot, like hot. Two, yeah. Yeah, two hours here and then maybe twice a week and stuff like that. And so one thing that I always like focus on having um, 
so that way I'm not just grabbing stuff at work because right. I, I don't, anyone who works in a hospital understands the amount of treats and things that go on. I and, see. Um, I get like pictures of cookies and ooh. stuff from you guys. Yeah. So whether it's you work a in a hospital or you're real, like, say you're a real estate agent on, and you're on the go all the time, it's very easy to pull into a Starbucks, a Dunkin' Donuts, and just grab a muffin and a coffee. I used to do it when I did medical sales. At first, I wasn't bringing my lunch. I was just like, oh, I'll just get Starbucks. I'll just get Dunkin' Donuts. Like, they're all over right. Long Island, right? Um, and then all over time, I started to gain more weight. And I was like, this is not, I don't feel good. Like, I felt like really lethargic. Like, I needed to take a nap in my car. In like, you need that day. Starbucks. You yeah, know? like, you needed the Starbucks. And I would. So then I would take a nap in my car in the middle of the day, do a medical sales, like a quick snooze, and then go get more Starbucks. And that cycle continues, right? Like, let me know mm-hmm. in the comments if you guys can relate. Because if you're a busy professional woman, like, this is probably happening to you. But all it takes is, like Jen said, like, an hour on Sunday, maybe another hour during the week, like, while whatever's cooking in the oven, you can saute on top. If you're in a warm climate like me, you can throw literally like so much and chicken and salad. steak on, on, on a salad, but you can put all this stuff on a grill. Like we just grill yeah. up a whole bunch of chicken and fish and then it's good for a few days. You know what I mean? So I just think it's also like, that's something we help you guys within the program, like thinking about like, how can we do this efficiently? Because people get overwhelmed, right? Like, ah, I'm not going to be able to make all these meals. Like you don't need to actually make all these meals. Boring and simple keeps you lean. Yeah. And, and people are always sharing like interesting, quick things that they do. And so that's always good. It gives you kind of like inspiration, new ideas, you know? Yeah. In our private tribe, there's always a lot of, a lot of sharing. So now that you've been in the program (laughs) for, you know, however many months, (laughs) five months, what are you, what are like your biggest takeaways? How do you feel? Um, so one of my biggest things, so I, I always focused on fitness and nutrition in the past. Um, and when you were talking to me about like getting your mindset, right. I think I kind of poo pooed the whole idea. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone does. Everyone does. I, I, I can't say that one thing helped more than the other. All three of them together were, you know, integral parts of, um, of making change. Mm -hmm. Um, but I definitely didn't think that the mindset component was as important as I really truly think that it is. Um, so I'll say like, that's, that's definitely like a big um, takeaway that I had. Let's just slow down for people watching. Did you guys hear what she said? The <laughs> mindset component is one of the most integral parts of her transformation. So I feel I need to say this to people because they, they really underestimate that. If you've been trying to lose weight for a long time, lose fat, whatever you want to call it, and you've been doing the workouts and you've been following a meal plan and you're not seeing a result, your mind is most likely not in the, in the right place. You cannot just change the outer without working on the inner. You might be able to change the outer for a short term, like how you said, you lost a little weight, but you gained it right back. That's because you didn't change your mindset and your true identity around who you are and how you approach health. So it's very, very important. Having like a tangible goal, like real and really wanting it. You know what I mean? You can, and then changing your mind to make sure that you, you get it. So I think that was really important. Yeah. 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 And then of course, like the, you know, macros and macro counting isn't for everyone. There's some women in the program who... If they don't want to do it, I'm not going to force them, but you do really well with macros, but everyone is unique, you know? Um, yeah. It does help though to track. <laughs> so if you're trying to lose weight and you're not tracking, you should start there. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you think about food a whole different way, like food as fuel and knowing what's, what's good for you, what your body, you know, enjoys. Um, so feels good eating. Those are, those are all good, important things that I learned too. So. Right. Awesome. Well, great takeaways. Any, any last comments to anyone watching? Any, any advice you want to give them? or anything, any last comments? Um, don't, I, I think that I, my biggest thing is I just waited so long. And I think if you really want to make a change, just invest in yourself, like in your health and, um, you know, just, just, just do it, make a just change. Cause there's no right time, right? You'll like, feel, <laughs> exactly. You're going to feel so much better, you know, yeah. so just do it. Yeah. And just yeah. to, people are probably wondering, Jen's lost like 25 pounds, maybe yes. more at this point. And yeah, yeah Jen, well, how, probably like 30 at this point. She looks like, close. yeah, close to 30 at this point. And more importantly, she just feels so much better. And clothes aren't fitting. Wedding dress probably needs to be resized like five more times gonna, before you get married. We're going to find out on Monday. So. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. So you're not the first bride to be that I've worked with. You're like, oh my God, I have to get the wedding dress taken in so many times. So I think that's a really valuable point. Like, don't wait. Um, you know, I, I looking back on it, like I waited until I was like 25, 26, and now I'm about to be 37 to, to embark on hiring someone to help me. And while that seems young, 
looking back on it, I wish I had started sooner because I went so many years in high school and in college, like, and even in my early 20s, like really feeling uncomfortable in my own skin and like hating myself. So you never want to be, you don't want to get to that place, right? So, and you're never going to feel ready and it's going to feel uncomfortable, right? Yes. And, and it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows. And sometimes you need to eat more, even when you're full, or you know what I mean? Or you eat something yes. that you, you don't really love because you know it's good for you, but welcome to life. It's not always sunshine and rainbows, but overall, you know, I think we have fun in the program. I love the group calls and the tribe, but um, yeah, lots yeah. of support. So, Lots of support. Yeah. And for anyone, if you have any questions for Jen, um, you can drop a comment on this, on this post and um, she'll get back to you or you can message either one of us. Thank you, Jen, for being on. Thank you. Um, and also Jen's referred like a million people to my program. So <laughs> thank you, Jen, for that as well. And I will see you soon. Message me if you need anything. And thanks for watching guys. Bye.